Hi, I'm Jake, and this is a Memorial Day weekend edition of Auto Week TV. First up, Ford does bad math. Then, JK's Maserati heads to the block. Forza gets Porsche, and we have one more tribute for Carroll Shelby. All right, let's get started. The 2013 Ford Mustang GT500 has 662 horsepower, right? Well, that's not all, apparently. The guys over at 50 Mustang and Super Ford's Magazine have dyno tested the new Mustang. They saw 609 horsepower at the rear wheels. Using standard calculations, that extrapolates to a whopping 700 ponies at the crank. Underreporting an engine's output was pretty common in the muscle car wars about 40 years ago for insurance, emissions, and safety reasons. Now granted, the dyno was owned by Ford, and it's not unheard of for the automakers to turn up the wick on a press car. But still, the Chevy Camaro and Dodge Challenger have some serious catching up to do. Jamiroquai lead singer J.K. is letting go of his 1955 Frua-bodied Maserati at the Gooding Company auction during the Pebble Beach Concours. The car won Best in Show at Salon Privé and has participated in the Mili Milia Storica more than once. It will go up for auction in California with an estimated sale price of $1.5 to $2 million. You can check out all the sale lots for the auction at www.goodingco.com. Finally, the Porsches have come home to roost. Forza Motorsport 4, the racing simulator for Xbox, is selling 30 virtual rides for the game for 20 bucks from Xbox Live. The downloadable package also comes with 20 new events and 10 new achievements to unlock. The car list includes classics, Le Mans racers, a Carrera GT, and a selection of 911s, GT3s, and GT2s. And if you ever wanted to drive a 959, this will probably be your only way. That's it for today. Remember that Sunday is the trifecta for motorsports fans, the Monaco Grand Prix, the Indianapolis 500, and the Coca-Cola 600. Keep up with all the action at your barbecue party with AutoWeekRacing.com. Also, we're going to enjoy the long holiday weekend, so we'll see you back here next Tuesday. We'll leave you with a tribute video to Carol Shelby from country singer and fellow Texan Mac Davis. Enjoy the drive and the barbecue. In Leesburg, Texas, 1923. Wearing Union bib overalls, pinstripe BBDs, came out on wheels with a prick of steel and balls made out of brass. When the doctor tried to slap his butt like and shot right out of his ass. And they called him Carol Shelby. Look out, here comes the snake. He was a cobra in his former life. He put the pedal to the metal. And he never found his brakes, so keep your eyes on your wallet and your wine. Well, he was doing wheelies on his track when he was barely three. When he was 12 years old, he stole his daddy's Model T. Drummed himself up a drag race with the local bootlegger's son. Stole his pink slip and his chick and said, God damn, this racing's fun. Well, he soon became the terror of Woodrow Wilson High. While the other kids were learning to drive, he was teaching our boys to fly. He bowled over the ladies with his blue-eyed southern charm. He'd say he once won a race blindfolded with a woman on each arm. Called him Carol Shelby. Look out, here comes the snake. He was a cobra in his former life. He put the pedal to the middle. And he never found his brakes, so keep your eyes on your wallet and your wife. In the fifties, no one could touch him. He won damn near every race. Le Mans, Sebring, Monza, Riverside, he was all over the place. But our hero still wasn't satisfied. He was reaching for the stars. He said, these farm some bitches ain't fast enough. I'm gonna build my own damn car. And so the Cobra was born. And just like him, it was lean, mean, and smart. But the Europeans outlawed it. Some said it broke old Carol's heart. And suddenly, he found himself in a place he'd never been. Way back in the pack, in a race with life. And some thought he wouldn't win. Shelby said, <laughs> you boys ought to know me better than that. I've just been in a little slump. With that, he made a quick pit stop, got a second-hand fuel pump, and as he left the pits, he grinned and spit and said, I don't mean to brag, but when I go through them pearly gates, they'll be waving a goddamn checkered flag. They called him Carol Shelby. Look out, here comes the snake. He was a cobra in his former life. He put the pedal to the metal, 
And he never found his break, so keep your eyes on your what and your why. Keep your eyes on your wallet and your wife. <laughs> That's a lot of words. It's been a long time since I wrote it, but I love you, buddy. I hope you enjoy it. Catch all the latest auto enthusiast news at AutoWeek.com, in AutoWeek magazine and iPad edition. Talk with us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter at AutoWeek USA.